And, you know, like, um, fortunate enough, you know, we, we have met Luann a little bit, know Teresa a little bit. Um, and so, you know, a lot of this, are, they're just who they are. And that's the best part of it. If you can hit a show like that, really and truly, and not have to create a character and just be who you are. I think actually that's the secret of yeah, the success. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that would be a dynamite place to be. Um, you know, because you just kind of like walk in and, and, and you know, you just kind of okay. get to be if you, if you can just be able to get with your life and do your thing and the cameras are rolling. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, be I think that would be great. But I, I'm not sure that I, I'm not, I'm not, I really like off camera time. I'm not sure that I can do that. <laughs> I don't mean to cause like drama amongst you, but like I could see, I, I could see you both like kind of like you're like really thinking about this, and you're like, oh god, I'm not sure about this. We're so not no, TV dude. people, though. It's really funny. Um, we're uh, I'm not. We're not. Neither one of us is really good at posting. Neither one of us is really good at, at making press. Neither one of us is really. I mean, we do it when we have to do it, um, and uh, I don't dislike it. I just like quiet time more. And, and that is the thing. Anything, everything you. is fun until you have something that take your direction, distract you from your work, will distract you from your life. You know, anything that will distract you for your 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 your, your career or me, or my career to the art world, uh, will be it won't be so nice. I think we both love exactly what we're we doing. Like, we like what um, I actually am the happiest. There, there's two times. One of them is when I'm building the graphics because that just really, it just jazzes me up. I love making them. I, I have a great time doing it and I can put music on and um, people laugh at me because I've got like, you know, house music or high energy music playing while I'm building graphics. I'm just having a great time. And the other time is that minute and 30 seconds or two minutes that I'm on camera. Just that that conversation with the audience and wanting to explain and wanting to have a, a great time with them uh, and with the people that I work with. And then he is very much into creating. He can go into the studio and be there for a day or two days and forget to eat, forget to come out, forget. To, I mean, he just he when he's creating art, he's the happiest person on the planet. Wow. That's what I picture of artists that are good at creating art. I picture them just getting lost in their work for days. Oh yeah, we do, we do that. What about you say like Luann and Teresa, those are very good examples. Luann is exactly what you expect in real life. I mean, there's no, nothing trying about Luann. She is exactly what you think. What's, what do you love best about Luann? I mean, Luann's fun. Um, you know, it's funny because I, I've, I wouldn't, you know, we're not close, close, but I've known her and been around her for a long period of time. And she's such a bright light of fun. I've never seen her down. I've never, she's just, she's kind of, everything starts when she gets there. You know what I mean? It may have been fun or it may have been nice until then, but everything starts when she gets there. It's just, you know, she's, and, and, and true to that energy that she is on camera. She has that thing, you know, like they say, you just have that like je ne sais yeah, quoi, I mean, like Luann has that. And when the light turns on, you know, yeah, and you can see it in their eyes. Yeah, definitely. What's next for the two of you? Any no. major plans for this year? Now, I mean, um, the world is in an interesting state at the moment. You know, his, it's actually, you know, it's our lives are more, much more about what's next for him, his art every year just becomes a bigger and bigger and bigger momentum. And um, and it's wonderful, he's at a period of time right now, I hope you don't mind me talking about you, like mm -hmm. you're not in the room here, um, that he's hit, he's hit a stride of success that you really, you have to keep nurturing it. So it isn't, you know, I feel like my career, I did it. There's not anything I didn't, I wanted to do. I never felt like I had to take a job in and hang on to it forever. I always took things that were challenges for me and then I would look for the next challenge. People didn't understand that, but that's the way I kind of ran my life. And I feel like my career's done. I mean, I did it. There's nothing else I really wanted to do. It was a great time, I had a great time. And I love doing the part-time stuff that I'm doing right now. So we put our focus and our energies, I hope, um, on him now. It's his time to shine. It's his. This is a moment where people are really loving his art 
and they're connecting to him. And I want that to be what our next chapter is. And I think if we're generating our life now, you and your stage of <laughs> career and my in mind, we we have the thing to be to use our platform to help others, you know, to use our voice to give voice to the ones who don't have voice. And uh, every time That's more, wonderful. we are more and more conscient about. I think I we that. all in doesn't matter what you do for a living, you have to commit to be a, an agent for social change, you know. And we do that. You <clears> can <throat> do that uh, in your work. He can do in his work. I can do in mine. In my art, I'm always try to embrace uh, social causes like a global warming, like uh, races, like uh, homophobia. It is always present in my work. I think when you do that, you know, you 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 do your job in the world. You know, you do you you feel so it's so rewarding mm -hmm. just doing that because you know then your passage in that planet was not for in vain. You know. You think that is a reason bigger than yourself or even your profession. You support you 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 support your community somehow. Now you when see you why I love it. That. That's, see see how I love it. Well, <laughs> right, like that's you guys are very good. I mean, well, your art has had this moment. Like, do you would like do you remember? You know, it's having a moment. Like, I agree with you, Sam. Like, what was there one project? Was it the butterfly project? That's just what well, I call it. It seems like a. That moment is start to happening when, as an artist, uh, uh, I don't think of myself or my career or my name. I think about the subject I would talk. You know, I think about the the statement of the art piece. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than us. It's bigger than your brand or your name. We talk about something that is more important. Like uh, with the with that sculpture that was in Tribeca Park, uh, was I didn't know at the time, but looks like was the first sculpture in New York City named after a trans person, you know? Right. And, uh, was the first, because I named that sculpture after a trans woman who was killed in Brazil. And, uh, and that was really important at the time. Uh, after that, last, the one is in, no, sorry. The ones that, the sculpture that it is in Randall Island now, mm -hmm. talk about racial equality. Yeah, it's so, you. We we brought that subject of racial equality again, which is so important now. I uh, did one 2019 here in Miami, which was a 36 foot long ice sculpture. Then talk about global warming, you know. So I think that again, doesn't matter what you do for a living. If you use your small or your big platform to voice other people, that's the best thing you can do, especially right now. I would agree with that. And three quick things before we wrap up. Sam, when you say it's his time and you've done everything in your career, I mean, I, I get that. I see that. Is that your nice way of saying like, go to work, honey, because da daddy's ready to retire again? <laughs> are, are you going to be leaving the ABC morning news? I enjoy, like, I I know I, I don't want to start that conversation because I really enjoy what I'm doing. It's it's just enough for me. It's part-time. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not responsible for a lot. I get to do what I enjoy. And to me, that's a nice thing right now. Um, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm not, I don't see any, any real changes happening because I'm kind of enjoying where I am and it gives me time, more time for us and more time to, that, well, that's just it. It gives it actually gives me time to be in a relationship <laughs> for us. It's like the best of both worlds, right? Like working yeah. a little bit. And I mean, I think a lot of people would do that if they could, right? Like that's kind of a great setup. I think that's the direction a lot of people are going too. More life and as much work as you need. Yeah. 